Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Quentin, and you're watching Mid South Outdoor Life, the channel dedicated to living an active and outdoor lifestyle. Today, I'm going to show you how to tie an easy snail, or in other words, I'm going to show you how to snail a hook the easy way. And the reason that I'm doing that is I noticed that on one of my recent live feeds, I had missed several requests to do this demonstration. There were two different people asking several different times for me to do this, and I totally missed them all. That's my bad. I'm going to make up for it right now. We're going to do it with a nine odd hook. It doesn't matter what type of hook that you're using, uh, but that's what I'm going to use right now. And some 80 pound mono. Your first step should always be to check the hook. You've got to make sure that the eye of the hook is closed properly and that there's no sharp burrs or points that will burr this line once you draw it tight. So that's the first step. Also, many people will begin to do their easy snail by putting an overhand knot in the end of the line like that. I find that to be completely unnecessary. And the reason I say that is I used to do it that way and I always found that no matter how many fish I caught or how many times I got hung up, when I would check the hook, that knot, that, that line never slipped. The knot was always just hanging out there. So I find that to be an unnecessary step and I don't do it anymore. That being said, here we go. You just start from the front side of the hook and just lay your line through the eye and lay it on the back of the shank, just like that. And it doesn't matter how much you leave hanging out there, catfish aren't line shy. So just lay it on the back of the shank and then start, start your wrap from the closed side of the eye. This is the closed side of the eye. So start that way. The different hooks are done different ways, by the way. Some of them are counterclockwise and some of them are, are clockwise. But I'm gonna start from the closed side and I'm just gonna bring it around and I'm gonna put one tight wrap there and then just keep wrapping it. You don't want the line to overlap how well you can see that. You don't want the line to overlap, just keep stacking up the wraps there, down the shank of the hook. I usually go about six times. And then I'm just gonna use my thumb to stop it. And I'm gonna take the end of the line, and now we're, now we're gonna go from the back to the front. Remember we started from the front to the back, we're gonna finish from the back to the front. Now, before I pull it tight, I'm gonna moisten it. It's not, as, is, it's not done until we pull it tight. So we moisten it, and then I wanna put a lot of pressure on it. Like a lot of pressure. I probably put 25 or 30 pounds of pressure on that. And the reason that I did that is that will cinch this down. And if this was laying on the deck of the boat, or uh, you know, if you were traveling and it wasn't drawn tight, this won't unravel after you've put a lot of pressure on it. It'll stay that way until I untie it. So that's it. Now I'm going to do it one more time, just to make sure you got it. Again, we're going to start from the front side of the hook, just go through the eye, lay it on the back of the shank, start at the closed side with our wrap, wrap them nice and tight, stack them up, don't overlap them. That was about six or seven. We started at the front and went to the back. We're going to finish by going from the back to the front. Before I pull it tight, I'm gonna moisten it. Pull it really tight. And now we're ready to tie it onto our swivel or whatever our, our rig happens to be. That's the easy snail. Thanks for watching.